hi there folks we're in our next video in mathematics in the modern world um in this video we're going to go back in codes and to do some examples and um and practice in encryption okay um following this will be um one video for decryption so what we're going to do is to um encrypt this um word decimation using the decimal cipher or the decimation cipher rather and we're going to make use of the encryption value which is equal to three some books would like to call the encryption value to be p so that's equal to three so what we're going to do first um first up is we're going to convert these letters right here into numbers um just like this one okay so we say that d is equal to 3, E is equal to 4, C is equal to 2, I is equal to 8, and so on. So you just copy that, copy this off, um, have a copy of your own. I'm going to hide this a little bit because it's going to become hidden if if um, I'm going to click this part here. So again, D becomes 3, E, sorry about that, E becomes 4, C becomes 2, I becomes 8, M becomes 12. I'm going to make 2 here, not as an exponent, but to read this as 12, because if not, um, that will look like this, and then this looks like um, a two-digit number. So I'm just going to put it like that. Um, A is 0, T is equal to 19, I is equal to 8, O is equal to 14, and N is equal to 13. So there. So that's the first step. Um, the second step would be those letters now are now formed into numbers. Since our encryption value is equal to 3, what we're going to do is multiply all those numbers here by 3. So what will happen is that um, all of these numbers will be multiplied by 3 and then we're going to put that in mod um, mod 26. But first up, before that, let's just put them and multiply them by 3. So hence, what we have is 3 times 3 is 9, um, 4 times 3 is 12, let's put it like that, 2 times times 3 is 6, 8 times 3 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36, 0 times 3 is 0, 19 times 3, what's that number? Um, 57, 19 times 3. 77. Yeah, that's it. 57. 8 times 3 is we know as 24. 14 times 3 is what? Mm, 42. Am I right? 3 times 14 is 42. Yes, pretty much. 13 times 3 is 39. Now, we need to continue now in the next part. We know that this is mod modulo 26. So meaning we need to get the remainders, divide them by 26 if we can, and then get the remainders and that will be our answer. So 9 cannot be, copy that off, 12 cannot be, we copy that off, um, 6, 6 divided by um, 26 cannot be, so that's 6, 24 divided by 23, 26 is 24 still. Now, 36 divided by 26 is going to give us um, 1 remainder, 10, and we are pretty much... Um, we are very particular with the remainder and we want the remainder which is 10, not the not, not the quotient. This becomes 0. Um, 56 divided by 26 is going to be 2 remainder 5. Because two, 26 times 2 is going to give us 52. So that's remainder 5. This still becomes 24. This 42 um, divided by 26 is just only 1. So that's one remainder, um, what? One remainder. What's the remainder? Anyone? So that's, um, so that's 42, that's 26. What you need to do is just 42 minus 26. And then the, the difference will be the, the remainder. That's going to give us 16. And then 36 um divided by 26 is 1 remainder 13. now what we need to do after this line will be um next is this will be the descripted or the the encrypted rather the encrypted message we call this again the cipher text
and the one which is which is um the one that we can read is what we call the plain text remember so this is the cipher text and the plain text what we need to do is go back to this table over here and then we will convert all the numbers there into um letters going back to letters so that we can know the the encrypted value okay so 9 is uh, j 12 is m 6 is g 24 is y and so on so we're going to follow that so what will be our cipher text so making use of that of that table that we have so you know you will see that it will be j m for 12 um g for 6 y for 24 k for 10 a for 0 f for 5 y for 24 q for 16 and n for 13 and that will be the ciphertext for this example which is um, the word decimation okay so pretty much hopefully everyone gets that and then um that's it for this video i'm going to have one more example for this so thank you very much for watching